Any cartoon fans out there? Yeah? yeah? Awesome. I'm one too. So hey everyone, I'm Moni and I'm a CG artist and animator and this is my story. So in the beginning, um, my aunt used to babysit me when I was small and she used to draw different things to entertain me. So as soon as I could learn to hold a pencil, I began drawing. And I love drawing so much that I would spend all day drawing all sorts of uh, random things, like dinosaurs or cake or whatever. Anything I liked, wanted, or imagined, I would draw it. So um, I would draw all the time. And initially, I would just draw on pen with pencil and paper. But um, when I was seven, I got my first computer, and I was introduced to MS Paint. So something about it really fascinated me. The idea that you could paint on a computer was really cool to me. So I would spend all day now painting in MS Paint with a mouse. So growing up, uh, my family had to go through lots of ups and downs. And through it all, art kind of acted almost like a shield to me because it helped me um, express my ideas. Every time I felt down, I would draw something that would cheer me up. I would draw something that I really wanted, or if I wanted to go somewhere, I would draw that place. So drawing was like a happy place for me, a place where I could forget everything and just be myself. So um, around 2007, I, um, I found out this software called Coral Painter. So up until then, I had, um, I had tried animating in PowerPoint, of all things. But finally, I came across a proper software. And I learned that you could animate in Painter. So I spent one whole day drawing uh, all the frames for an animation. And guess what I animated? A pie falling from a table into a gigantic splat. Don't ask me how I got that idea. It was pretty random. So I, I spent the whole day drawing all these frames of a pie falling. And when I pressed play for the first time and it moved, I was so happy. It was one of the coolest moments of my life. It was one of the coolest moments of my life. And from that moment onwards, I fell in love with animation big time. So after that, um, around 2008, I got connected to the internet after wanting for years. And after I got the internet, one of the first things that I saw were um, speed painting videos on YouTube. And they were practically videos of people painting all kinds of awesome things. And I was so amazed. Then I came across these um, drawing communities like DeviantArt and CD Society. And I saw all the awesome artworks there. And I was practically blown with inspiration. My mind was totally blown. I was so inspired. So I would practice really hard. Uh, and tried to draw as much as I could with my mouse. And I became a member of DeviantArt, and I was quite active there. I met all these other kids who were into the same thing at, that, as I was. Up until then, I was the weirdo in my class who would just sit in a corner and draw all day. But then I found all these other kids who were into the same thing that I was. So I, I realized that I was not alone, and I'm not the only one who does this stuff. So um, around 2009, um, Zubar Keolin from Grafa, he saw this artwork of mine, and for some reason he really liked it. And he invited me to check out um, this website. It was called, Gra uh, I was pretty surprised, so I went to check it out, and it was Grafa. GrafaOnline.org, it's a Bangladeshi animation and CG community. And I was so amazed that something like this was happening in Bangladesh because up until then, I did not know any Bangladeshi people who were doing animation and computer graphics and whatnot. So I was, again, really amazed and really inspired. I became a very active Grafa member. And I would post my artworks on a regular basis. People would comment on my stuff, give me critiques, feedback, and encouragement, which really helped me grow as an artist. 
And then the next year, I got my drawing tablet. My wrist could finally rest. And um, it was in 2004. I had made a deal with my mom that uh, if I did well enough in my O-level, she'd give me a tablet, and I did. And that's how I got it. I was so happy. So um, I spent the next few months Okay, I spent the next few months drawing all kinds of random things with my tablet, and I was having a blast. But ironically enough, my tablet came to me at such a time that my AS level exams were rushing at me at full speed. So I barely had time to draw. And as it so happened, I kind of screwed up my AS levels. <laughs> and after that, you know, I got a drawing curfew. So I was really sad around that time because I couldn't draw for almost one whole year. I had to put away my tablet, and you know, I felt kind of meh, so yeah. Slowly, the year passed, and it was summer 2011. My summer vacation started, and I could finally get back to drawing. So I got my tablet and started drawing, and I realized that I was incredibly rusty. One year of not drawing had not been a good thing for me at all. I had become incredibly rusty. Nothing I would draw would come out right. And I was feeling quite down. I was feeling quite depressed. So I began looking for inspiration. I was looking at my old artworks. I was looking at my old journals and blog posts and whatnot, trying to find a small speck of inspiration that would get me back to where I wanted to be. So I came across. Um, the Grapha, uh, I'm sorry, I came across my old thread on Grapha Online. That was the um, logo animation challenge thread, which I took part in 2009. And that was one of the best times of my life because I spent two weeks trying to make a logo animation. And while it was quite difficult doing it with a mouse and all, I had the whole community support me, and it was an amazing experience. And I realized that I wanted to go through that again. I wanted to make something of my own. I wanted to make an animated short film. So after that, I got back to drawing again. No matter how bad my skills were, I was determined to get them back again and be even better than I was before. So I came up with a story idea, and I named it Moving On. Th this was the preliminary character design from early 2012. And I kept working on it, but in between, um, I finished my A-levels. And right after I finished my A-levels, I, I had known by then what I wanted to do, and I decided to um, pursue art and animation like professionally as well. So I joined Ogner Art Studios, and it's probably one of the coolest places ever to work and make your own animation and stuff. So while working there as a junior visual development artist, I've done all sorts of crazy projects, which, which is really, you know, taking me out of my comfort zone and helped me grow as an artist. I've done death metal album covers. I've done storyboards. I've, done, I've met, supervised an animation project around the beginning of this year, which really you know, helped me grow a lot as an artist. So um, while you know, commercial projects are fun and everything, I realized that the best way to express your own self, express your own ideas, are your own projects. So this year, I, real, I remembered that project I started around last year, moving on. And I was determined that I got to finish my film this time. So I went back to the drawing board and redid the concept art, redid the character design. And this is the char current character concept design for my short film. Currently, I'm working on this. And this is one of the concept arts for one of the scenes in the short film. So while I've been working at Ogden Art Studios, most of my friends already started university, and my folks wanted me to do the same. They wanted me to pursue a conventional career path, which was considered more viable by the society. But I knew that that was not who I was. I'm an artist, right? That's who I am. And I could not fool myself anymore, pretending to be someone I was not. I could not spend my whole life being someone else. I want to be me. So I decided to um, pursue art and animation, even though it was incredibly difficult, but you know, I had these amazing people by my side who always supported me and made it possible. So right now, I'm working on my animated short film, and hopefully it'll be done by the end of this year. And yeah, so I just want to say one thing. If there's something that you really love, if there's something that you really wanna do, 
by all means, do it. Never let go of it. Because you love it. Maybe you consider yourself to be not so good, but it doesn't matter. You love doing it, and that's all that matters. So yeah, never let go of your dreams. Be who you want to be. And that's about it. Thank <laughs> you.